there are numerous developers out there who creates front end and back end now in this case you can see that i am creating a front end application an android application in android studio and while this android studio is still running i have a web api project running in dotnet core in the same system i want to connect my android application to this web api through a real device for testing how can i do that so here you can see when i run this api i have a lot of endpoints available now the first thing that we need to make sure is both are connected to the same wi-fi hotspot or the wi-fi network as you can see here my system is connected to a hotspot that i created on my phone now both are on the same hotspot now the second step that we need to consider is to find the ip address of my system that it got from the hotspot now let's open a command prompt and type in ip config now since it is connected to the wireless uh, network you can see my ip address over here so now let's copy the ip address now let's try to see if we can open the same website that is opening in the local host using the ip address right so let's duplicate this and instead of local host let's put the same ip so this local host is actually corresponding to the same ip of my system now let's hit enter but as you can see here i am getting a rejected message or a revoked this is because we need to configure the kestrel server so let's configure the kestrel server for that open the visual studio and open the properties and here open the launch settings now over here you could see that a url for the localhost is specified now we need to add the url that contains the ip address for the for the kestrel to accept now let's copy the ip address and go all right now let's try to run this web api project oh we got an error let's read the error unrecognized scheme on the server so what does that mean that means if you look closely we can see an extra space over here because this is very space sensitive so let's correct it come over here and just remove the space and now let's start it now the next step that we need to consider is to exempt this from the defender firewall or the windows firewall so when you try to run this it automatically ask for an exception so you can click on the private and public network and you can allow it now once we done that let's try to open the same with ip address the scheme error is happening because we have specified https instead of http let's try to change it yes we are able to get the api running with the ip address all right Now let's try to open the same from a mobile device. Let's convert this into a QR code and try to open it from the mobile device. All right. As you can see here, if it comes properly in the mobile device, that means any app that is running on a real device can access your API with the IP address provided. Now if you still face challenges on the Windows firewall, you can search for Windows firewall on the start. and you can turn it off like here that's all about today